Hi, this video is an intro to Semantic Diff and I'm going to use Git as version control and Visual Studio Code as the editor. So the first thing I'm going to do is just to perform a very simple refactor. I'll just cut this method and move it down because for whatever reason I prefer to have it here, right? Then the next thing I'm going to do is to reformat the code a little bit. I don't, I'm not going to make any you know, relevant changes, just reformat the code. If I now go and diff with Git uh, integrated in, in Visual Studio Code, what I see is this, right? Basically it's telling me, well, you remove this block and you add it here. Let's now see what Semantic can do for us. So I just run, run it as git diff tool because I have uh, Semantic diff configured to be the default git diff tool okay so here we go we see the diff and what we see is that it's detecting that the method was moved down you see it's marked with an M here you can go to the moved code and you can also diff it in what we call a sub diff and we can also put it side by side this way interestingly it is just saying the code was moved it's not telling anything about it was modified to and that's because this option I selected to skip format changes so basically what semantic is doing under the hood is reformatting the code and just showing you what is really relevant so any f any change that is just a format change there are no actual real changes underneath it will just ignore it of course I can just uncheck it and then it will recalculate the diff and now you see how it's different right now it's detecting the difference you you made so that's a little bit about how to use semantic diff as your diff tool for git